Sonic Origins sucks. I'm going to show you the best way to play the original Mega Drive Sonic Trilogy for exactly zero dollars. And no, I don't mean the mobile version. Ooh, yeah! First, we're gonna do one and two. If you only care about three, skip to that chapter. Ooh. Go to Team Forever's website. This site hosts Sonic 1 Forever and Sonic 2 Absolute, which are improved versions of the decompiled 2013 mobile versions produced by Taxman and Stealth. I'm gonna do Sonic 2 here because it's the better game, but all these directions apply to Sonic 1 too. Click on the game you want, click download easy setup, open the zip file and extract it into a folder you own. This can be your desktop, your home folder, your documents folder, a different drive, wherever. Just make sure your user account owns the folder and it's not behind admin or something. Now we have the game, but we don't have any of the assets. Unfortunately, Team Forever can't include these because of copyright or whatever. That's how the law works. But it's fine, we can get it ourselves. <laughs> Download a Sonic 1 or Sonic 2 APK, depending on the game you're installing. APK stands for Android Package. It's the packaging format that Android uses for apps and games. Technically, you could argue this isn't piracy because these games are free, but I'm not your lawyer. You are a pirate! Yeah. Right click on the resulting APK and open it with your favorite archiver like 7-zip or nanozip. Go into assets and look for data.rsdk.xmf. Drag this into the same folder, you put your game files earlier, and then click on the batch file. The script will then unpack all of the assets into a format the engine can read. All that's left to do now is to open the game and start playing. Ooh, yeah. Unfortunately, Sega never allowed Taxman and Stealth to remake Sonic 3 and Knuckles for mobile, so we're stuck with a rather excellent fan-made engine called Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited. Go to sonic3air.org and grab the latest release for your operating system. Open the zip and extract the contents into a folder you own, just like 1 and 2. Unlike 1 and 2, this game relies on the original Mega Drive ROM of Sonic 3 and Knuckles for its assets. Now. I'm not gonna advocate piracy or anything, but you can't legally buy this game anymore, and pirating 30-year-old games is about as trivial of a crime as jaywalking. So just fucking steal- Once you've legally acquired your ROM, drop it into the same directory as the game files and you're done. <laughs> it's worth noting that on some setups, namely AMD GPUs, accelerated rendering is broken. To fix this, switch your renderer to OpenGL software in display settings. This engine also has some problems with some overlays, namely the Steam overlay. This could change in the future, but I figured it was worth pointing out. That's it, you have Sonic 1, 2, and 3 and Knuckles, all on PC and widescreen, 60fps with multiple support and other modes. Have fun.